producer Edward Nanapokose, popularly referred to as Hammer of the Last Two Fame, has hinted his return to the music industry. Uh, he says he'll return as a businessman. Speaking exclusively to TV3, Hammer disclosed that he'll return in the capacity of a businessman, according to the sound engineer who discovered, groomed, or produced the likes of Obrafo, Edem Tiny, Sarkodie, Kwakase, and many more. His works as a music producer has come to a halt. Tired, for, you know, I'm, I'm kind of tired with the music for now. I'm going to come back to music, but as a businessman. I'm going to try and come back uh, to put things together, put producers and artists together, try and take them to the world, find investors for them. There's a lot of people out there who are interested in investing in music, but they don't have the right place to put their money. Uh, they don't have the right person to entrust their money to. I think with my intuition and my experience over the years in the wisdom I acquired from the music business, it puts me in a position where I can handle these investors and some of these artists really respect me so I, I can try and put all of them in the same room and have a dialogue. Yeah. One of the things that the artists and a lot of people in the industry will miss is the production and so yeah. are, you, are you going to let all that talent go? Oh, well that talent is doing bread now. It's the same thing, you see, the beats, uh, it was a gospel according to Hammer. It was my taste in music, you know, whatever, whatever you do is basically your taste in it. So if you were a producer making beats, the, the way you sound would have been your taste in music. So one industry can't really define who you are. I'm not really, I, I've never seen myself as a musician. I think that I served, I came to serve these boys. I came to put them uh, in the right places, help them change their lives. And I think my work is done there for now. I'll come back as a businessman, not as an artist. Not as a beat guy or producer. I'll just put them together. Obviously, I'll be in the studio advising. Is it because you think that, you know, like you said, you've paid your dues, you've made enough money from this uh, mm. venture, so it's not okay? Money. Not money. Uh, if we talk about money, I wouldn't say I made money there. I, I think I, it's a wealth of wisdom and experience and people management, you know. Money is... Uh, is 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 overrated you know it's not in the music industry is that what you mean yeah it's not really about the money the people in the music industry don't really do it for the money if they want to do it for money <laughs> they'll go and do something else you know it is the passion they have for music most of them are doing it for the passion the money is a bonus you know but you can't really do it for money if because there are more, far more easier things to do for money. You know, music is not an easy thing. It has to come to you, you know. A lot of emotions in music. So if you are really in the music industry for money, then you're lost. You might get fame. A lot of people confuse fame with money. It's not, you know, the most painful thing is getting a lot of fame and no money. The reason I ask about money is because uh, people say that, oh, there's money in music. Uh, at least we see artists drive a lot of uh, fleets uh, of cars. We it comes see? with the fame. I think it comes with the fame. I, everybody knows your face. Anybody, everybody knows your name. It's only right that you drive a nice car. So Even when they, you don't own it? They, no, they, they, they are slaves to what they possess. You know, for example, I might not want to throw my money at the Rolls Royce right now. But my, my stature or my, my status in the industry, like let's say Davido, will, it will, will demand that I have a Rolls Royce. And so I will succumb to that urge to get a, a Rolls Royce, but maybe I wouldn't want a rosary, but the fame is what is talking here. But if you don't have money, how do you get a rosary? That's what I'm saying, that 
we may have the same amount of money you might you might buy a rolls royce and and lose half of your money i will keep my money because i don't need to succumb to that demand that your stardom is demanding your stardom demands a lifestyle so we we, we tend to be slaves to that lifestyle you, you you maybe you have one million in your account one million ghana cities you want to really structure handle it well you could you could have a budget that is less than half of that money but if you're a star maybe you you need a publicist you need uh you need a, a butler you need uh, just because you're a star you need some add-ons those add-ons cost money so the, you are forced to spend more of your one million than i am you see so stardom only brings you more cost we can make the same money. A banker can make the same money as an artist, but the artist has an entourage. Everybody will have to be fed. The banker is going home to the family. You know, so the artist who has a family, remember, 